Okay, so let's let's try to explain what we discussed in the previous videos. Um, what we what we saw before is that the reading on the scale that's on the Earth, say right, that's on the Earth, depends on the gravitational pull. So it would be different on the Earth versus on the Moon, right? Because it depends on that gravitational pull. But it also depends on the acceleration of the scale, right? So if you're standing on the scale, right, on the surface of the Earth, then, then the reading on the scale will be that gravitational pull, whether it's the Earth or the Moon or the Sun or whatever, it'll be that gravitational pull. But if that if that scale is accelerating, I think this is logical, right? If that scale is itself accelerating down, then the reading on the scale will not be just that gravitational force. So I'm going to repeat this. The reading on a spring scale depends on the gravitational pull and on the acceleration of that scale. So let's let's have an example here. So say now you have a brick on a stationary floor and you right there's a there's a spring scale and you measure the force of the spring on the brick. The force of the spring on the brick uh, because the acceleration is zero because it's in equilibrium the force of the spring on the brick is simply that gravitational pull okay it's exactly what we just discussed however if you put the same setup inside an elevator accelerating downward then what's going to happen is that gravitational pull remains identical to before it stays exactly the same but because there's an acceleration down, there has to be, what this means is if I add that force vector up plus that force vector, I need to have a, a, a resultant force vector downwards, right? If I add that vector and that vector, there needs to be a vector sum that's pointed downwards. So in this case, this force equals this force but in this case the force of the spring on the brick is smaller than the force of gravity on the on the brick okay make sure you understand this and because because remember that interaction pair because the force of the spring on the brick Remember, it equals the force of the brick on the spring. These are there's an interaction pair. These are equal. So, if the spring scale is accelerating down, then the force that is the the reading on the scale is going to be lower than what it was when the spring scale was not accelerating down. Similarly, if the spring scale is accelerating up, say the elevator is accelerating up, then this spring scale will have a higher reading than the gravitational force. Okay? So this is, this is uh, exactly what we're trying to say here. And so what would happen if the spring scale, if the acceleration was G, say, say near, the, near the surface of the Earth? Say... You put the brick on the spring scale and you let them just fall. They both fell. Right? They were just falling freely. Objects in free fall. Then, of course, there would be no reading on the spring scale because... Just because, why? Any object subject to only a force of gravity experiences weightlessness. Okay? So... These two objects fall freely along with the elevator, right? So I think it's quite logical. If they're falling together, then there will be no reading on the spring scale. 
okay so we can stop here and then we will go into finally the weightlessness of of the astronauts